What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you a guide in unlocking a new Nessus Forge. It is an army forge and people let me tell you if you think last week's was long winded, this one is even longer. But today I'll give you a few tips to make it that also a little bit quicker. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so to start this quest of unlocking this new forge, you first have to go to Nessus and kill Vex enemies to get the Vex transponder. This is the first step in unlocking the new Izanami forge. So once you have this, the next step of the quest is to kill 100 Vex enemies. The best place to do this is the Ori Lost Sector within the Artifacts Edge area on Nessus. So spawn into the Artifacts Edge area and head to this Lost Sector. You should get this done in a few runs. Plenty of Vex within this Lost Sector uh, to enter the Lost Sector, clear out and fast travel back to it. Don't take long, so rinse and repeat this until you have what you need. Once done here, the next step is to complete the Heroic Spire Integration Public Event within the Hallows area. Again, easily access from the Artifacts Edge area, head to the Hallows and wait for this public event to spawn in. Make sure you complete it as Heroic though. Then, the next step is to get 20 Minotaur kills. The fastest way in doing this is to go to the Exodus Black area on Nessus, then follow the route I take on screen now. Within this cave system there is a monitor, kill him then jump up into this teleporter and follow the path into the centre of this room, there is another monitor here. Simply kill him, head back to that teleporter, go through it and that monitor will have respawned. Kill him, jump back up through the teleporter and rinse and repeat until you have your 20. Easy people. Once done here, the next step is to complete a mission located in the Hallows area of Nessus, which is basically to rekindle the flames of the Izanami Forge. Here you have to do a few things, then kill a boss. It's relatively easy and pretty quick to do, so you shouldn't have any problems. You are then requested to go and see Ada 1. Well, I thought this was the quest ended, but it certainly isn't the case. There's much more to do. So now you have to do three more heroic public events. A glimmer extraction is going to be easily done within the Trustland area on the EDZ, but it is available on other planets too. It's just a Trustland area, in my opinion, is the fastest way of doing this. The Witch's Ritual within the Rig area on Titan, and the Spire Integration on Nessus within the Hollows area, or the Exodus Black area. So once you've done these three heroic public events, the next step is to collect blended ether via getting fallen precision multi kills. I did this in the Terminus East Lost Sector within the Trustlands on EDZ. It's full of fallen and quick to run out and back in again, so it's probably where you should do it. Unless you go into the Trustland and the enemy are facing off against each other, that's obviously a better place. But if that ain't happening, head into the Terminus East Lost Sector. Next up the Condensed Blights, you have to do this on I.O. So spawn into the rupture area on I.O. and head into the Sanctum of Bones Lost Sector. Not far in you will see a taken blood, simply destroy it, then fast travel back to the rupture and then repeat until you get all five of these done. It's really easy people.
Next step is the radio or and vapor collected. I did this first, but it doesn't matter what order you do these in. This mission is found in the system area on Nessus, a quite straightforward mission with a few awkward jumping puzzles. Well, you won't have any issues here, people, unless you've got no common sense. It's relatively straightforward. So after you've done these three steps, the next step is to go and redo the Volendor Forge on the EDZ. So head there, load it up and get to work. Upon completing this forge, your next step is to then go and see Ada 1. A game where I thought it all ended. Long again. There are even more steps. Now you have to go and complete an advanced version of the Insight Terminus. To be honest, the advanced version isn't that advanced. It's just a 630 version with extinguish on. Nothing hard about it at all in my opinion. That can be located on screen now. So once you have completed this people, you then have to go and reignite the forge on Nessus within the Hollows area. So here you don't actually have to do the entire forge, it's literally a minute mission of you killing a giant hydra, that's it shooting things to make his shield spin around and just destroying him, it is that simple. Once completed that, you then go and see Ada 1. And guys, you are done. This is how you unlock the Izanami forge on Nessus. Done, done, done. She will reward you a ball schematic when you first do this also, which you will have to get to work on before you can pick up the pulse rifle schematic which she also offers. So yes, people get that done if you want the pulse rifle. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. This is how you unlock the Izanami Forge on Nessus. Quite long winded, I'm not gonna lie. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leaving a like really does help me out. And if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. But thanks as always for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on that next one.